Hello everyone, I am Brother Hosanna David. I bring greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to quickly share with us uh, something that has been bothering my mind. It is a pain in the heart of God. It is a sorrowful thing. It is painful. And that is the activity of prosperity preachers. Prosperity preachers. They are doing a lot of harm to the body of Christ, deceiving people, preaching a one-sided God, telling people that God is love, God is loving, and that God has no concern about the way we live our life, that God is all caring, there is no hell, there is uh, just heaven, and that God is not going to uh, discipline those who believe in Him but refuse to live uh, the way he actually wanted them to live, that the grace of God covers this, covers their sin, and that God is so loving. They don't tell these people that God, though God is love, he is also a consuming fire. They refuse to tell the world, the, their members, this other side of God. The same God that destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah because of their evil doer, because of their evil doings, that same God who destroyed this city and also destroyed a lot of people today babylon is no more because of their pride and their evils against god the same god who wiped off this city is the same god we are actually serving but they don't tell these people that god will bring judgment to the world they don't tell them that two kingdoms are in opposition the kingdom of god and the kingdom of the devil and that we should be want to make sure that we who profess Christ as our Lord and personal Savior must depart from evil, that the foundation of the Lord stand sure that those who name it the name of Christ must depart from iniquity. They don't tell those people that, that because they are actually making money from those people. Several times, time and times again, the Lord told me, even beginning from 2005, the Lord has revealed to me a lot of times that He is angry with prosperity preachers. What is prosperity preaching? It is telling people what they want to hear and not actually what God wants them to hear. Prosperity is supposed to be the prosperity of the soul before prosperity, material prosperity. But they focus on just prosperity of material things without the prosperity of the soul. The Bible says that I wish you above all things that you prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospereth. So the soul supposed to prosper first, that is paramount because what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? You don't gain anything. I want to sound a very strong warning and it is a warning from the Lord that the Lord is angry with his prosperity preachers. Those people, they need your money, but they don't want your soul saved. They don't want you to enter the kingdom of God because they know that the road is narrow. The path to the kingdom is narrow. There is just only one way. Who is Jesus Christ? Jesus has not called us unto unholiness. But the Bible says, in uh, Peter said, those who are called by God, they must be holy, even as he is holy. Be holy, for I am holy. But those people, they tell you that holiness doesn't mean anything. That holiness, Jesus Christ is a holiness. Um, he, he doesn't care about how we live. You can be a lesbian, you can be a gay, you can be uh, anything. You can abort children, you can live your life the way you live. You can prostitute yourself. It doesn't mean anything. The grace of God covers your sin. And once you are saved, you are already saved. That there is nothing that will bring you down from the grace of God. So much lies. The problem of Jeremiah, the problem of Ezekiel, the problem of the prophets of old, including Hosea and many of those prophets, had, was just battling false shepherds. False prophets coming with messages promising us people good when there is no good. Even when war was coming, they were telling them peace, 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 peace. My pain is that when you come out with a message of salvation, when you come out with the truth, those people have been brainwashed. They have been taught lies that they don't want to listen to the truth again. 
God is angry with those people. They are making money from those people. They are making money from their church members, but they don't want to tell them the truth. God is angry and they will pay in hell. A lot of them are so demonic. They have so much demonic powers to manipulate those people. Devil is so liberal. He is so generous in giving powers to people to deceive humanity. And for those of you who have partnered with the devil and are still partnering with the devil without repentance, you will pay for every soul that you deceive in hell. The Bible says that there shall be joy in heaven over a single soul that repents. Than for 99 persons who are already saved, who need no repentance. That is how powerful the salvation of a single soul is. But you are out to deceive those people. I'm going to leave in the description box, or if this video is out of this channel, you can go to Ego Eye Opener, or just go to my website, egoeyeopener.com. There is a message that the Lord gave to me about false prophets. You will see it there. There are several messages like that that I put there. But this one is serious warning to first from Jesus Christ to false prophets and pastors. So much evil in the land. No wonder they don't care about the poor. No wonder they don't care about the salvation of people. Their aim is enjoy the world right here and now and forget about heaven. You will pay. Please don't follow these people. Their consciences have been set with a hot iron. And they are leading people astray. A lot of people, a lot of Christians are in hell today because somebody misled them. And I tell you, there shall be fight in hell. People are going to beat up their false prophets and false, false pastors very well in hell. But it will be too late. There will be no need of repentance again. Please repent. The Lord is calling you to repentance. Thank you. Please share this message and subscribe. Ego Eye Opener and Be A Spirit TV. Thank you. Bye-bye.